Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we're checking out the newest plugin from Tech Evasion. This is the M Loudener. So the M Loudener is the first of the M series of plugins from Tech Evasion. We've worked with them before, and most of their other plugins are the T series. This is the first in the M series, a new lineup of plugins coming from them. But the interface will look very similar to some of the other Tech Evasion plugins, and just like those ones, this one is also dead simple. So let's start with the controls, or if you want to skip the controls and go to the audio example, use the chapters down below. But with that, let's dive into the DAW. Okay, so here it is. This is the M Loudener. I've already kind of messed with this. This isn't the default way that it shows up. I've just was playing around before I started recording. And what we're going to do today is just do some like really fast pseudo mastering. This is pretty good to kind of just make something loudener. Yeah, let's go with that. And you can do it really easy. Let's start off with all the controls like we usually do. So it's very apparent. It is one knob right in the center. This is the sound effect. This is the main control, how much of this effect you're putting onto the source signal. This goes all the way down to 0% and all the way up to 100%. And you can kind of just blend in between or have more or less of this effect applied to the sound. It's not really like a wet dry blend, which is up in the top right. There's a mix control here, so you can do a wet dry blend. It's how much processing you're doing to your source signal. On the top left, you have the quality. This is also known as oversampling. It's the same thing. Standard, no oversampling. Good, two times great. I think it's four times. I'll have to check the manual, but you can see there's oversampling built in. I just went to ultra because we're doing like a pseudo mastering style setup right now. Input meter on the left hand side, output meter on the right hand side and the where it says minus infinity, you'll see these actually change as we affect everything. The input will stay the same, but the output will ha either be louder or softer, depending on what you're doing within the plugin. Underneath that, you have the softener button, and you also have the smoother button. These two things, even though they may look and sound by, you know, the words used to describe them, they are different effects. They will make the effect that loudener is doing on your source signal more subtle or more gentle. It'll be an easier way in and out, but the timings and the characteristics of softener versus smoother are different, but you can use them together because they're just toggles. You can turn both of these on for a doubling of that gentle subtle effect because now you have these two different processes happening and they're working in conjunction. On the bottom left, you have drive. You can add in some saturation to your signal through this plugin as well, but be careful with this because it does get to distortion at some point. But if you're very gentle with it, it's just some subtle saturation and it's very nice. And then you have an output control on the right hand side where you can make up any gain or too much loudness, stuff like that. Down here in the center, mid side, you can do some rebalancing if you're doing something like a master. So maybe there's too much side information. You can kind of lean a little bit heavier toward the mid or you want it a little bit wider, push towards the sides and pull some of that mid information out to kind of rebalance the sides versus the mid. And that's it. Just like with other Tech Evasion plugins, you know, built-in bypass on top, A and B sides, copy A to B, that's cool. And then the sandwich button to get you into your presets, save a preset, change the GUI size, etc., etc. Really easy, really simple. Now let's get into our example. This is a song that I mixed for the band called The 39. This is called Behind the Sun. I'll put a link to the song down in the description. If you want to check out this in full, please go support these guys. They are growing, they're doing awesome, and I can't wait to work with them again. They've allowed me to use this song for our example today. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of reset everything right back to default. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the effect all the way down. The only thing I didn't do was change the oversampling. It's still on ultra. If your machine can't handle it at the time, you can scale this down or do whatever you need to. Right now, I'm just going to leave the quality to ultra. I'm going to let this play and dial in some settings to do a quick sort of master on this. Let's take a listen.
Okay, so you can see with very few controls, it doesn't take a long time to dial something in and to get that loudness that we're looking for. And you probably also saw I was going in and out of having it in bypass or not. The sound effect is how much is being applied to your source signal. And so you saw when we went up to 100%, yeah, it was definitely louder. But you could also hear that it was kind of smushed and getting a little kind of clippy distorted, not in a great way, which is why I backed it off. For this song itself, softener and smoother didn't work for me, but you saw in the examples, we turned them both on and you could hear what they were doing. They're definitely softening and smoothing things out when we combine them. For me, it just felt kind of choked out. Sure, I probably could have brought the output up and made up for some of that, but for what was going on in this song, these weren't doing it for me. But what was doing it for me is this drive, just having a little bit more saturation. I only added 2 dB. And then I kind of did a little rebalancing by just pushing the sides up a little bit more, kind of spreading things out a little because we're rebalancing. Put some of the original signal back in. I backed the mix off a little. And, you know, if I really wanted to, I could send this off to the band and be like, hey, take a listen. This is our last mix and sort of what it could sound like when it's mastered. Although a mastering engineer would do some other stuff. Shout out to Brandon Allshouse from Steelhouse Mastering, who actually did master this and the other song from this release. You can listen to his work down in that same link to the song below. So there it is. That is the Tech Evasion M Loudener. If you want to pick up your own copy, use the link down in the description. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. Want to talk more plugins or mastering processes? Join the Discord. There's a link down in the description. Want to work with me on your project? Very similar to how the 39 worked with me on this one. I'd love to work with you. Head over to timflansbaum.com and let's get that process going. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.